Hi, welcome to Get Simplifies. I'm Vanessa Hayes. Today I'm going to show you how to organize your vitamins and your medications. Now when it comes to organizing these things, it's really easy. There's just three steps that I want you to kind of think about. First thing you're going to do is you're going to sort your items and then you're going to contain them and then we're going to maintain them and I'll explain. The first step is to sort and what you need to do, which I recommend, is you need to sort the different types of vitamins and medications that you have. The first thing is I highly recommend that you separate your vitamins from your medications and your medications include over-the-counter drugs and prescription medications. And the reason why you want to do that is because you usually have to be a little bit more careful when it comes to medications and especially prescription medications because you want to be mindful of the dosage amounts, um, mixing them with other drugs and other precautions like you know what you can't take them with, like if you can't take them with milk or different beverages and things like that. So because you have to take extra caution with the, the prescription and over-the-counter medications, I highly recommend that you keep those totally separated. Now I like to separate my medications even further. I have, I have my cold, flu, and allergies separated in one area. I have my pain relievers like Tylenol, Advil, and Aleve in a separate section. And then I have my prescription divided up into adult and kids prescriptions because I just, again, I don't want to take the chance of mixing that up and I want to just make sure that I keep safety in mind when it comes to my, my family. So, so that's sorting them. Now once you've sorted, now we're going to contain them. Now I use turntables, bins, and Ziplocs primarily when it comes to organizing, you know, my medications and my vitamins. Uh, turntables work great. I'm a big fan of turntables but I find that they're a little bit restrictive because if you're like me and my husband, we have tons of supplements and vitamins and they come in these big bottles and you know tall bottles and stuff. And so I find that the turntables, you have to have like three or four of them to kind of fit these different size bottles um, as opposed to a bin. And so I really like using bins because you can just throw all those items in there and then easily retrieve it. If they were on a turntable and you had to go, let's say refill a pill pack, you'd have to grab all these different bottles off of a turntable. But if you have them in a bin, you can just grab that whole bin with you and then refill your pack. So that's why I'm a big fan of the bins. Now, if you want to use bins within the bin, you can do like what I've done here. I've got these four bins in here to separate those things I talked about, the cold and allergy, the pain relievers, and then the different prescription medications. You can use bins within a bin to kind of contain your items. But if you don't have bins like that, an easy, cheap way to keep your items organized um, and sorted out is just to simply use either quart size or gallon Ziplocs. And I actually used to use these before I found these bins to fit. <clears throat> and so what I would do is just I would just kind of open up that, that bag, put the, you know, the items in there, and they would stand upright and I would actually leave the, the, uh, the bag open. And then of course I would have it labeled here too. I took a Sharpie and I labeled it at the very top. I didn't label it down here because it's hard to see it once it's in the bin. So I put it as close to the top as possible and then I just kind of filed it into the container. So it keeps everything sorted and separated and it's easy for you to find what you need and put stuff back. So a cheap, easy alternative to using bins within the bin. <clears throat> now, so now that we've got everything contained, and since we're talking about containers, I want to take this chance to show you some travel um, containers in a pill pack that I use. Now I use this AM PM weekly pill pack container for my supplements. And I like this because I take supplements in the morning and at night. And instead of grabbing this twice a day just to take my supplements, I get a pill pack and I fill it up once a week. And so it's great because then I know when I'm running low, when I get to that last box when it's empty, then I know it's time to refill my items. And then I don't have to think about it for another week. Now let me show you a side tip here. Um, I do use this when I travel. Um, but when you travel, sometimes these pill packs open up and you got pills running all over the place. But to prevent that, what I've done, actually I got this idea from my husband, is I just take a rubber band and I wrap it around the lid on both the top part and the bottom part here. So that if it gets knocked around and if the, you know, the button gets pushed, it'll still keep that lid in place. Of course, I also take it a step further and not only do I have the rubber bands, but I also use a gallon Ziploc too. So in case that urban fails me too, at least the pills will fall into the Ziploc and it's all nice and contained. So that's just an added bonus tip for you. Now I also found these little uh, little pill sorters here, travel pill packs, and there's seven of them here for, you know, obviously for the days of the week. 
What's cool about these is that there's a lid that's on top and then each one of these other containers just basically twists on to the other. So you can just twist it off, empty out the contents, and then you can go to the next day, twist it off, empty out the contents. Um, and so what I did is I labeled each one of these the days of the week, so Monday through Sunday. And then since I take supplements twice a day, I put D on here for day and N on here for night. Of course, you could put AM or PM. But I like these because they take up quite a bit less space than my pill pack does, as you can see. So I'm anxious to use these. I haven't used them yet, but I'm anxious to use these because they take up a lot less space in my luggage. Okay, so that's talking about containing your items. Now let's talk about how to maintain it. Well, basically, when it comes to maintaining any area of your home, once you've organized it, the biggest thing is just, you know, replace the items, you know, return them back to where you got them. You know, you've designated homes for these items. The first thing you want to do is just put them back. And the easiest way to do that is to label your items. Now let me show you how I label these containers. Okay, so the first thing I did was I labeled the outside of the containers. Um, you just want to put the general category of the items that are on the inside of it, um, just so it's easy for you to see it at a glance. Of course, I have just my medications listed here as far as the prescription, cold and allergy, and then my pain relievers. And then, of course, I labeled it even further on the inside because I have those bins on the inside. And so what I did is I took a label and put it on the inside of each one of these containers to see the contents that are on the inside, just at a glance. Um, and then I also want to talk to you about expiration dates. I, it's very important that you keep track of your expired medications because they will spoil, they will go rancid, and they will lose their potency. And I found that the easiest thing to do is the second that you get the medication um, or the over-the-counter drugs, you want to go ahead and find the expiration date on there, but you want to put it boldly somewhere on that bottle where you're going to see it every time you grab the bottle. Because yeah, they have the expiration date on there, but unless it's right in front of your face, you're going to ignore it. And then chances are you're going to be taking the expired medication and you don't want to be pumping old stuff into your body, okay? So again, I just take a Sharpie and I just put it on there where I can see it right away. Um, talk about labeling the bottles too. I also take it a step further um, as far as like when I have them categorized in these different sections, um, I want to know whose medication is belongs to who. And so what I do is like for example here, this is the prescription medications for me and my husband. And so I have his name written on top and mine for the items that belong to me. So again, just at a quick glance I can see what medication belongs to who. So that's something that you might want to do as well. And the last two things I want to talk to you about are safety and keeping track of the different medications that you're on. Now, of course, we've got prescription medications and over-the-counter medications that we don't want little hands to get a hold of. So it's important that you store these high up on a shelf where your kids can't get to them or other young ones can't get to them. So, um, but we have two shelves in our pantry that are designated just for these bins and we have them high up so our little one can't get to them. Um, and I highly recommend too that if you have a lot of prescription medications that you're on, I highly recommend that you keep track of the, those prescriptions. Um, just keep a note, write it on an index card or on a piece of paper, write down the medication, the dosage amount, um, and any other precautions that you have to take, whether you have to take it with food or if you can't mix it with other medications. Write all that down and keep it inside of your, your, medica, uh, your medicine bin. Um, or you can also keep a digital copy of it, like my husband and I do. We have, uh, we have a note typed up and we save it in our Evernote account, which gives us ac it stores it on the cloud, basically, and it gives us access to that anytime uh, or wherever we have internet access. So we can pull it up on our phone, and so if we're at a doctor's appointment or for some reason we need to have that medical information, we can easily pull it up on our computer or on our iPhone or whatnot. So I just think it's a really great practice to have a copy of that either in your wallet digitally saved on your phone um, and of course keep it inside of your medicine bin too. So I hope these tips have been helpful for you. Just three tips to organize your vitamins and your medications. Sort it, contain it, maintain it. For more tips on how to simplify and organize your life, visit us at GetSimplifies.com. Thanks for joining me today.